Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's Kenna here. Um, if you are new, my name is Kenna. I am transgender. I've been in hormones for a year and some change. And yeah, that's kind of the gist about me. So this video is about a video I did before my old channel before it got deleted. It's about um, is a guy gay or bi? or dating a trans woman. And in my opinion, um, obviously, you know, it's just my opinion that other people have others, but however, I think my opinion is right. Uh, I don't know, but a lot of people think this way as well. So maybe that kind of like validates how I think. So I think that if a straight guy, a straight heterosexual cisgender male is attracted to a female cool. or even is just attracted to someone who is trans that's a trans woman he is still straight why well you know it's kind of like the saying if it talks like a duck walks like a duck and quacks like a duck then you know like it's a duck so like if someone looks like a woman talks like a woman acts like a woman and walks like a woman you know what I mean? Um, cause essentially what being straight is, is that you are attracted to something that is feminine, right? So trans women are feminine and, you know, gay guys look at trans women as, you know, women. Gay guys don't want to date a trans girl because, you know, they're not attracted to the girls. That's kind of, you know what I mean? So like if a gay, if a transgender girl went up to a gay guy and was like hey like i'm interested in you like we should hook up or whatever most likely if the guy is just gay not bi the guy is gonna be like ew no you're a girl get away from me so i think honestly it's just a lot of like the the toxic masculinity that this culture and society enforces on boys at a very young age and even men and it's just perpetuated and you know it makes people feel like they have to fit into this box of what is normal and so that sucks for people who are trans because our dating pool goes from like here for what if it should be like here normally if it's just like normally like accepted in society and then it goes from here what should where it should be goes to like here of the guys that are that say they're straight whatever or guys that just want to experiment this is the box of guys that are willing to be with you to experiment with to kind of get the best of both worlds as you may say and then from here it goes to like here to, to guys that are actually who are, I guess, okay with their sexuality and comfortable with who they are, that they'll actually openly date someone who's trans. Obviously, if a straight guy is gonna date a trans woman, there are gonna be people who feel like, oh my God, like, he's gay. It's gonna happen. Um, unfortunately, it's just how the world is, but it does not make a guy gay for liking a woman because a trans girl is a woman. And if you're attracted to a woman, that makes you straight or bi, you know, whatever you identify as. But no, the answer is it does not make you gay. Um, Cause I mean, regardless if, even if the trans girl has or has gotten any surgeries, they're still a woman. And you know, the brain is hardwired as a woman. It just, unfortunately their body does not resemble the way that they think on the inside. But you do not need to have bottom surgery to be fully trend to be fully transitioned. You know, you could just have boob job a boob job and be fully transitioned. It's being fully transitioned is not really a thing. It's just whatever you are most comfortable with your body. And regardless if a trans woman has gotten the reassignment surgery or not. 
does not define if a guy is straight or gay. Regardless of whatever the girl has gotten, he's still dating a girl, he's dating a woman, and therefore he is straight. Um, yeah. But if you have any other specific questions you want me to answer, I can make another video because I feel like that would be easier to answer specific questions on this topic. And then we can all learn some more. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, well, I know this video isn't super long. I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around and waiting for this video. I left my actual camera in my mom's car that's back up in Pennsylvania. It's because she came down to visit me, which is really nice. So I was supposed to have a home tour video, but that is on the camera that's now out of state. So that's what it's about to be shipped over here. So that was about to be the next video or the following, depending on when I get the camera back. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see y'all later. Bye.